Have you ever been in an argument with someone you really care about and in the middle of the argument you could just feel things falling apart and you're just thinking, I wish I could stop this. I wish I could reverse this. I don't know what to do, but things are going in the wrong direction fast. If I don't do something soon, this could damage or destroy the relationship. In this video, I'm gonna give you a bunch of exact phrases you can use to repair the damage that goes on in one of these difficult conversations, in one of these bad arguments. These come from the marriage specialist, John Gottman. He calls them repair attempts. And I'm gonna give you a bunch of examples of exactly what to say from Gottman's book about seven principles that make marriage work. Hi everybody, it's Bruce Lambert from HowCommunicationWorks.com. This is a channel where I teach you communication skills so you can improve your relationships, succeed at work, be more confident, and lead a more fulfilling life. One of my favorite communication researchers and one of the best known communication researchers in the world is a guy named John Gottman. Gottman was a professor at the University of Washington where he famously ran this communication studies lab where he would invite married couples into this research apartment and they would sit down and there'd be hidden cameras that they had volunteered to be in front of and they would practice you know, having some arguments, the difficult conversations that characterize their marriage. And famously, John Gottman could watch this videotape for only three minutes and predict with 96% accuracy whether these people would be divorced in three years. How did he do it? Well, I'm gonna make a couple of other videos about exactly how he did it, but one of the things that he noticed was that the marriages that were doomed, the husband and wife or the spouses were unable to make repair attempts. That is, when things started to go wrong in an argument, they had no way of softening the conversation. They had no way of reversing and backing out of a bad situation once it started to get bad. Whereas in marriages which turned out to be healthy and long lasting, the partners had developed ways of both making repair attempts, that's what Gottman calls these things, repair attempts, and also uh, of learning to accept the repair attempts when your partner makes them. And one of the things that Gottman realizes is that it's hard to accept these repair attempts. You're in the middle of a bad argument. You want to just um, uh, maybe draw some blood and do some damage to your partner because they've hurt you so much and you want vengeance. But instead, in a, in a healthy relationship, if they make a repair attempt, you have to accept it. Or if you make a repair attempt, they have to accept it. So the question is, how can you make these repair attempts in a way that makes them more likely to be accepted? Because intrinsically, these situations are such that they're not easy to get out of. You get all caught up in them and it's not easy for anyone to accept a repair attempt when you really just wanna kind of go for the jugular. I've been reading Gottman's book, Seven Principles That Make Marriage Work, and in it, he gives a bunch of specific examples of things you can say as repair attempts that have a good chance of being accepted. The first of these is, I'm feeling defensive. Could you rephrase that? This is a repair attempt. You know that you're feeling defensive. Defensiveness is one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, as Gottman calls it, and this is a statement that can get you out of it. So you say, I'm feeling defensive. Could you rephrase that? Another would be, I'm feeling scared. So that's just a cue for the other person to slow down a little bit. And a third would be, please say that more gently. So those are three I feel statements that would be repair attempts said gently enough that maybe your partner could respond to them. The second category is, I need to calm down statements. One example might be, I need things to be calmer now. Another might be, I need your support right now. A third, and it might be hard to say this one in an argument, but it's really a useful repair attempt is, can I take that back? The third category of repair attempts, Gottman just calls sorry. And here are some examples of those statements. My reaction was too extreme. Sorry. Let me try again. I can see my part in this. Those are all ways of saying I'm sorry, ways of trying to initiate a repair, ways of trying to get out of the downward spiral that might destroy your relationship. The third category Gottman calls getting to yes. Examples of that include things like, you're starting to convince me. These lead you towards agreement and away from discord and disharmony and divorce. Another example would be something like, I, I agree with part of what you're saying. A third example might be, I think your point of view makes sense. All of these are attempting at reconciliation or repair, and of course that's the whole point of this. And these specific phrases are meant to give you some ways of saying these things in the heat of argument that might help save your relationship. The fifth category of repair statements Gottman calls stop action. Examples of these include, 
please, let's stop for a while. Can I have just a minute? I'll be back. Let's take a break. All of these, again, are trying to turn down the temperature on a heated reaction that might have really damaging consequences. And if you say them gently enough, they have a chance of getting accepted and heard. The final category of repair attempt statements is what Gottman calls, I appreciate. So these are statements of thanks or appreciation or acknowledgement that again have the same intended action to soften the acrimony, to remind yourself that the relationship is something that you value, to remind your partner of the same thing, to remind them that you see good qualities in them even in the midst of this difficult and painful argument. So the most obvious one is just, I love you. It's okay to remind your partner that you love them when you're arguing with them. It's a repair attempt. It's a reminder about the value of uh, what you have together. A second might be, I know this isn't your fault. And a third would be a direct statement of appreciation or admiration, something like, you know, one thing I admire about you is, and then you finish the statement with some acknowledgments of something you admire them about. So those are about, what, 18 different concrete statements you can use when you're trying to repair the damage that's being done in an intense argument with someone that you really care about. As I said, Gottman identifies these repair attempts as absolutely critical to succeeding at arguing. And what he notices in his research is that the difference between successful relationships and unsuccessful relationships isn't that successful Relationships have no argument. No, every relationship has arguments. It's about how people argue. And one of the key characteristics to arguments in successful, long-lasting relationships is that they make repair attempts in the midst of an argument, and those repair attempts are suggested. So my hope is that these 18 concrete suggestions for how to phrase your repair attempts will help you preserve what's really one of the most valuable things in your life, and that is your most intimate relationships. If you like this kind of video, smash that like button. If, you, if we haven't met before and you are interested in this channel, I'd be grateful if you would consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell so YouTube notifies you every time I upload a video. Go on over to our website, howcommunicationworks.com. If you sign up with your email, we'll send you an ebook about empathy, which we think you'll find to be useful and entertaining in your relationships as well. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.